Hey guys, I'd like to introduce to you JSONFiddle.net. It's this little tool that I threw together that allows me to send JSON in a nice way to a client. Uh, I keep coming up with this problem where I save JSON to a database just like as a, as a data dump for certain fields I didn't want to put in there and uh, the client will ask for certain information, he'll just say, give me everything on this guy, or, you know, maybe I have inform maybe I'm saving my database that way for whatever reason, or maybe you have a Mongo database, and you need to send the list of, to the client. What I often find myself doing is getting the JSON and going to a website to format it, and then sending it off, or something like that. So what JSONfiddle.net is, is it's a unique URL to format a JSON, so you can send it to a client. So I'll go here and copy some JSON, from my database and then I'll paste it and you can see it shows up over here and I can uh, traverse through it by clicking uh, it shows me this is a, a type of object and these are the keys of the object uh, false is boolean so it's red true is a boolean so it's green uh, text is in black and the numbers if they were here would be in blue and so yeah so I've created that I can uh, I can go back and forth if I want to if I get small enough it'll uh, fade away for me um, and yeah, so then I can save it like this, and it saves it. And so I can go give this to the client, right? So I'll create a new tab, and I gave this to the client. And so here's what the client gets. So the client gets to see the object um, without the source. Now the source is here. If you double click it, there's a source. But the, the point is, is that you, the client doesn't care about the source. All the client wants to see is the data. So you do this, you send them that, and uh, they get to see the data. And so that's that's pretty much all there is. There's a couple other things like here's your URL here. Um, you can load in a pass save, for example. So here's um, an, another object, and here's a, a complex object that I've done. This is a, a YouTube user profile output. So this is from a while ago, but you can see how it's got you know a ton of. I don't know why it does that. It's some little display thing. Anyway, uh, so this is a huge JSON object. I mean, there's a lot going on here, but you can see how I've got uh, some, you know, these, these are integers, they're in blue, these are type of objects. Uh, when I have an array like this, you can see I have 10 items in the array, it tells you the name of the array, and the objects, and you can traverse and, and close all this stuff. And you can see as I'm closing these, like 0, 1, 2, I'm like, well, that's really annoying. You can actually alt-click on one of these, and it will, um, it will close, well, that one remembered its spots, but it'll uh, actually reverse all of them. So uh, if I alt-click again, um, then they're all going to be open. And if I alt-click one more time, now they're all going to be closed. So you can see it's a quick way to uh, open or close a uh, bunch of elements so you can kind of get a good view of what your JSON object is looking like. And you can do it live too. So I can come back over here if I want. Double-clicking is how you open this panel up. And uh, up here, where am I at? Uh, it says end 10. I can actually change that to like you know, 100. It's actually going to change that code live here. So you can code the JSON object live. Um, it's not really the point of it. The point of it is really to share the JSON. So you do that, and then and then you save it, and etc. And it also validates. So if I delete a giant chunk, it's probably going to invalidate it. So um, you know, you messed up. Invalid JSON. So you can you can undo. So undo works. And uh, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So. Um, let me know if this happens to you. This is just a weird display issue. I don't know. Anyway, yep, so jsonfiddle.net. I'm going to be updating it in a little bit to clean up the code. So don't look at the code right now. It's kind of messy. But I'll clean up the code and, uh, and clean up the app. If you guys have ideas that you want me to do with it, let me know. I'd love to hear suggestions. Uh, thanks.